everybody and welcome to Totally Trendy. My name is Sam and today I am letting the magic conch shell from Spongebob control my life. The magic conch shell? Ah! I always get a little bit of anxiety with these like control my life like so and so gets to pick what I do for the day videos because I'm not in control. But that's okay because we are leaving my fate in the hands of the magic conch shell. Now if you are not a fan of Spongebob, haven't seen this episode, let me explain it to you. Squidward, Spongebob, and Patrick all get stranded in the middle of, I guess we would call this a forest, but it's underwater. And Spongebob and Patrick have formed their own little club where they let a magic conch shell make all of their decisions for them. This. Squidward, being the pessimist that he is, doesn't believe in this magic shell thing. He's like, that's just a toy. Like, there's no way you can let that decide everything for you. But what ends up happening is because SpongeBob and Patrick listen to this magic conch shell, they end up getting like a really sick tent set up, food, like everything goes well for them. Whereas Squidward, not so much because it's Squidward. But of course, before I let this magic shell kind of like decide everything that I'm gonna do for the rest of the day today, we have to make one. So let's figure out how we can make a magic conch shell. Okay, so I got a magic conch shell. Well, okay, no, this is just a normal shell. It's not magical yet. I got the shell off of Amazon. It was like 12 bucks, which for me feels pretty expensive considering it's a shell, but I painted it a similar purple to the one in the episode, we are gonna be shoving a tiny walkie-talkie on the inside. Now, of course, the magic conch in the episode is, it is a toy, so it's just like a magic eight ball where you just shake it and it's like, yes, no. Try again later. All those kind of automated answers. But I thought it would be funnier if I put a little walkie-talkie in it and then this walkie-talkie just kind of got passed around the office so I don't necessarily know who's in control when I'm asking the magic conch a question. So my coworkers are gonna actually be making these decisions via the magic conch. So because we are using walkie-talkies, we don't necessarily need like the string pull feature. So so I just got like one of those little pull music box moments and cut the string and have this little ring so we can just like attach it for aesthetic purposes. We're just gonna hot glue this onto it. All right, so I'm just gonna put the smallest little drop on this guy. Once we put one of the walkies in it, we are gonna cover it with this mesh to kind of like hide the walkie talkie. And then that's basically gonna be it. So once we have all of these pieces put together, we are gonna have ourselves a magic conch. We have our magic conch. Probably not gonna do that again in this video, but we have our magic conch. Okay, magic conch shell. What should I do to start my day? Nothing. Okay, so I am now going to do nothing, I guess, until someone else takes the walkie talkie. I don't really know how to do nothing. One hour later. We're still doing nothing. Hello. Hey, how's it going? What are you doing? Nothing. Why? Because the magic conch told me to. The magic <laughs> conch? <laughs> no, 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 Well, now that you're here, something better can happen. Today, I'm letting the magic conch control all my decisions. So, magic conch, what should we get for breakfast? You can't have anything, however, um, what? you should get Catherine a vanilla cold brew from Starbucks. Thank you. That's your, that's what you're doing. You're the worst. That was rude. Don't push it. Sorry, I kind of forgot you were in control. Starbucks now. <laughs> so who's driving? That'd be you. <sighs> you're ruining my day. Okay, let's go. <laughs> and off we go. Magic conch. Should I knock? That's a 10-4. Mm. Sorry. Um, the Magic Conch and I are going to Starbucks, and should I get- Is Cat controlling the- should No, I... Woods, I'm not. What? <laughs> no, we're not going Who's to Who's Woods? Magic Conch. So, should I get the Battle Universe team Starbucks? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so that's yes. So it's gonna be a grand day for everyone. I guess we gotta take notes now. <laughs> hey, Magic Conch, what should I get Alex from Starbucks? Uh. Vente iced coffee? Oh. 
That was specific, okay. I didn't know. All right, see you soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you happy, Magic Conch? I oh, I mean one thing. Oh I wait, mean, sorry, you're conch. not the magic conch. Yeah, no. One of the magic conches asked for one thing. The other one got all that. Got things. I didn't think I would start this day broke, but okay. Let's go back to the office. Thank you, magic conch. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. OMG. Thank you, magic conch. OMG. Thank you, magic. So magic conch. Where's I magic spent conch? too much money. Thanks, conchy. So so far, the magic conch has really only told me to do nothing and then to buy so much coffee. That's our day so far. Oh man. Okay, so now that I am by myself again, magic conch. What should I do? Nothing. Okay. I'm just gonna. Do this again. We're just, yep. One hour later. Oh well hey, would you look at that? It's another day. Now, yesterday I had to kind of make some choices that I couldn't leave up to the magic conch. So we are back today to continue this challenge. Do we call this a challenge? I don't know. To continue this journey. Now that I let my coworkers have some fun with it yesterday, we are really gonna leave it up to chance. I have a little random word generator and I've inserted some options like yes, no, don't do it. Are you serious? That's not trendy. Eh, you decide, you know? A lot of things like that and then I just hit little random choice and it tells me what to do. So we are essentially gonna just combine these two and we are gonna let it decide some pretty important things actually. This is the time of day where I typically, you know, write video ideas and prep. So this right here is actually gonna decide some key parts of the video that you are gonna see the next upload of mine. But let's sit, brainstorm, and figure some things out. Cause now the fate of the video that I'm filming next is kind of in the hands of the magic conch. So the video idea we are working with is I am going to follow a Bon Appetit tutorial. As I'm kind of deciding what I'm gonna do for this video, I am gonna ask the magic conch. What we need to decide first is what tutorial I'm gonna follow. Okay, so I have a few options right here. So I'm gonna pull up the magic conch should I recreate the gourmet pop tart video? Hit us with the soft no. Okay. Magic conch. Should I make the gourmet starburst video? Should I follow that tutorial? It says nothing. So, okay. Guess not. Should I make the gourmet pocky sticks? What's funnier than 24? <laughs> 25. Hello. <laughs> okay. Should I make the gourmet pocky sticks? Please. Yes. So it's decided that is the tutorial we're gonna follow. So I am going to do some more behind the scenes research and then we are going to go to Target and make some more decisions. So I know I said we were gonna go to Target, but I have decided that we are just gonna order online because they do same day shipping slash pickup, whatever. And that way I can make sure that they have everything I need without wasting time. There are a few things that I know I just like need, like, okay, we are, and I am just going to go ahead and add cart. None of these things are things that I like need to make a choice on. They're all necessities. You know, SpongeBob and Patrick weren't making like big decisions with the magic conch. They were just kind of like, you know, killing time in a deserted forest. So this feels a little more high stakes than what they dealt with. That's okay. Why doesn't Target have floral foam? You're gonna make my life hard, aren't you? That's a little disappointing. So I need cocoa butter, but like for food. Yikes, does Target not have cocoa butter? Well, it's just for the melt, so I'm gonna pretend that it's okay, that we don't have that. Magic conch, please tell me that it is okay to skip the cocoa butter. It says nothing, so I'm assuming that means no cocoa butter. Great, love that. Thanks, magic conch. So. Now, this is where the magic conch is going to help me kind of decide on like the flavors and everything I'm gonna do in this next video. This does alter the ingredient list and everything, so let's see, some are more complex than others. Magic conch, should I make the original Pocky? You decide. I'm gonna decide we definitely make the original in the next video. Okay, so magic conch, should I make Oreo Pocky? 
What's funnier than 24? <laughs> uh, then now is not a time for jokes, okay? Oh, it said yes, and then I just skipped it. Literally keep saying what's funnier than 24. Okay, well it landed on yes, I promise. Ah, okay, cool. So now we just need to make sure we get Oreos. Let's see. Okay, and then we just need white chocolate. The chocolate bar is $3, and it comes with a $2.67 same-day order service. Okay, come on. Magic conch, do I still make the white chocolate one? It says, are you serious? But like, I think I have to. Okay, great. We are ready to check out. Thank you, Magic Conch, for helping us make some actually important decisions. I feel like the Magic Conch left me in pretty good hands for the next video. And so I think that is all I really have to decide with this little thing today. Thank you, Magic Conch. If you guys wanna see more videos where I like DIY something specific from a TV show and bring it to life, let me know and give me some ideas in the comments down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did. I will see you guys in the next video where you guys can watch me try and follow a Bon Appetit tutorial based off of the decisions the Magic Conch just gave me. So, so stay tuned to see how that goes. I will see you guys there.